Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Soda Story Brewing Tycoon where we've now got robot friends. We've got Betty out here in the garden and we've got Jeff and Bernard down here in the factory and they've made a world of difference of our robot buddies. They're making things so much easier because they're dealing with all the kind of, you know, tedious, laborious tasks so we don't have to do those anymore. We don't have to go and do things in the garden like harvesting and planting and all that kind of stuff because Betty does that. We don't have to move stock to the sort of loading bay thing because Jeff does that. We don't have to load up the machines that make the soda because Bernard does that. It's all very wonderful indeed. So now we've got a little bit of time on our hands because we've got some automation going on, which means we can go and do other stuff. We can go and look at the market trends. We can try and figure out what soda we need to make next. And we can do some mission thingamajigs. And we do have a mission outstanding right now to go and get revenge on the sandwiches. I don't really want to go and get revenge on the sandwiches. That's kind of not how we roll here in the Geek Cupboard, but the game is making us do this. It's kind of you know, a story mission type thing. We have to go and do that. So I think we'll go and do this right now, shall we? Let's get this sorted. Now we were a little bit confused with this last time because it does say crypto miners installed, naught out of four. So I went to the shop thinking, do we need to buy the crypto miners or whatever? I was trying to find where they were, but no, apparently, we just have some. Lots of people in the comments have pointed out that we kind of have these upon our person. Like other people might carry around, you know, a wallet or a watch or whatever, we are apparently carrying around a load of crypto miners, whatever they are. So I think to begin today, let's, you know, start with a little bit of casual breaking and entering and we'll go and do some industrial sabotage as well, shall we? That's kind of a fun thing to begin the day. So here we go, pop into the Sandwiz's place. Now, how does this work? I don't know. But yeah, people in the comments have said that we should just be able to go up to machines and then just kind of install the crypto miner things. So where is the sandwich? So he's over that way right now. So how do we install the crypto miners? Uh, ah, there, install crypto miner. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's a mini game. Ah, oh, okay. Is that it? Ah, okay, right. That machine has kind of exploded a bit. Right, so that machine's going a little bit kind of funny. Right, we need to make our way round here. Uh, we'll install a crypto miner on whatever that thing is. We need eight on this thing. Oh, crikey. Okay, he might be walking around is the only problem. Oh, I'm not very good at these games. <laughs> Doing all right so far. Doing all right so far. Come on, come on, come on. Seven and eight. Okay, that's going to explode. Right, where is he? He's over there. He's over there. So that's okay. Right, hang on. We need two for this machine. So one and two. Okay, so that's three of those things done. Let's sabotage this machine here as well. What's that? What's that machine? Oh, can we sabotage that? That might be quite fun. I don't know what that is. It's growing something. It's like a little sort of indoor greenhouse type thing. Right, that's exploded as well. And we have to go and get his frozen essence. Okay, so hang on a second. Right, where is he? He's over there. Oh, how, did he see us? Did he just see us? I'm not entirely sure we got away with that. Okay, hang on a minute. So we need to go into here and now we need to drink from our infinite drinking bottle and give ourselves hot feet. So we need to melt his ice thingamajig, okay, because this is perfectly fine. And there you go, pick up essence of sweat. No, <laughs> why has he got that frozen away? That's a little bit strange. Okay, so we've got revenge on the sandwiches, but now we need to be incredibly careful that he doesn't see us because of course we don't want him to cotton onto that that we've gone and sabotaged all of his stuff. Um, okay, let's get out of there, shall we? I think we just get out right now. How do we get out again? Um, oh, hang on. No, we have to go. The, we were near the way out, weren't we? It's kind of over here somewhere, isn't it? Hang on a second. I think we just go out his door. I think we just go out the front door. Where is the front? Oh, it's down there. It's down there. No, it's okay. We're all good. We're all good. The front door is down here. Okay, so we go out here. Yeah, leave. There we go. Right. We got in. We got out. We did the stuff. It's all fine. We've done a little bit of sabotage, but there we go. Right, so what do we pick up? Yeah, essence of sweat. We've now got given, we've got given essence of turkey from the, um, from completing the quest. We've got some Insta Grow and various other bits and bobs. Okay, right, hang on a second, hang on. Let me put some stuff back in the cupboard. Oh, crikey. The cupboard is getting very full. It's getting very full indeed. Hang on, essence of sweat can go in. We haven't really got much room in the cupboard. Hang on a second. Uh, what's going on here? Sunny. Hey there, pal. Uh, hello? H who are you? The name's Sunny. I take care of security on this production. Ah. Okay, <laughs> about the security. Uh, it wasn't me that just went and broke into somebody else's place. It was somebody who looked very like me. And um, we have ordered spare security devices that we have, uh, sorry, we have some spare security devices that we ordered too many of and are looking to get rid of. 
the other competitors already took up my offer and beefed up their security, and I'd imagine you will want to do the same. Things get pretty heated during the season, and I highly recommend you try to prevent the other contestants from messing with your operation before it gets too messy. I'll add some stuff to the shop if you can prove to me you can beat the Sandwiz in a rival challenge. And this is one of those things, yeah, we kind of we kind of touched upon this. I'm not sure how we do those. Okay, okay, that's fine. So what's that? Crypto miners. The amount of crypto miners installed and how much they're generating per hour. Oh, oh, I see. So we're stealing his profits. We're picking up $54 per hour from nicking his stuff. Oh, he's there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Let's have a nice chat. Or oh, you, stay at my warehouse. I'll be back to mess up more than your shipping bay next time. Uh, me? It wasn't me at all. If I catch you snooping around, I won't hesitate to smack you in the mouth. You are very rude, Sandwiz. Oh, and I'm waiting for you to send me a challenge request. The standings app on your computer should now be unlocked. Okay, challenge request. Standings app on the computer. Um, okay. So right now we need to challenge and beat the Sandwiz. Okay, how are we doing with stuff? I mean, look, there are many crates, many crates. I think maybe, do we need to, do we need to kind of increase the amount of things that can be moved by the vans possibly there the sandwich has found and removed a crypto miner okay right so we're down to two of those now that's fine that seems fair that's okay so we're making 36 dollars an hour now that's not too shabby still um okay okay right i think <gasps> he sabotaged our machine oh what a scoundrel hang on we need to go and repair it yeah so he's come in here and caused us some problems D that seems fair that seems fair. I can't complain too much about that because we went and sabotaged him. Right, hang on. Let me just go and do some repairs. Repair, repair, repair. There we go. All sorted. It's all fine. Um, right. Okay. Hang on a second. Hang on. Uh, let's get ourselves. Let's go to... Uh, hang on. Yeah. Go to here and let's read this thing. So what have we got? Oh, it's a daily summary. That's a little bit disappointing. Okie doke. That's fine. Right. Research-wise, I think maybe... Do we want to get, hang on, scroll, scroll, scroll. Vehicle capacity. So increases uh, the shipping vehicle capacity from five to seven cases. That might be worth doing. So they can move more stuff around. Or do we increase the capacity of the shipping bay from 10 to 20 slots? Maybe we do that first. And then the next research form we get, we put it into vehicle capacity. So let's make the shipping bay a bit bigger so we can pile up even more stuff. Okay, that's good. So it can now hold 20 things. And let's go and do a challenge thing then. Right, standings. Okay, so we're very much at the bottom of the standings. Oh, hang on a minute. They've won all sorts of awards. Hang on. I feel like I feel like we've been thrown in very much at the deep end here. This isn't very fair. Okay, so the Sandwiz is Prisoner Season 6 Rising Star Runner-Up and Season 6 Challenge Novice. Okay, hang on. So, ah, Rubberino won Season 6. Okay, and season five, Sally Crinkle won season four. I mean, yeah, Rubberino is a challenge master. Okay, so Rubberino is the one to beat. But right now, we've got to challenge the Sandwiz. Yeah, okay, we'll do a challenge then. Here we go. And we're back in his place again. So you think you've got what it takes to beat me? Ha! I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the challenge is. We might not. I've got no idea, my good sir. Don't make me laugh. Sorry, I won't do. Okay. Okay, we need to decide on some things first. Uh, what are the objectives of this so-called challenge? I can face whatever you throw at me so you can choose. <laughs> I mean, you're very rude. Can we throw something heavy at you? Because you're going to face it. Um, okay, so select a difficulty. Easy. Goal. Earn 3,000 monies. Gain 2,800 fans. We get 500 money. Some XP. Uh, his head appears on a factory. I don't quite know what that is. And we get Essence, oh, essence of Stardust. Oh, we get a Tier 1 Pressure Pad. And, oh, and then we get the Blueprint for one of those. We could get a bit more money if we go for 4,500 money earned and gain 3,500 fans. Pick up a bit more cash. We get three lots of Instagrow. And again, we get whatever that thing is there. His head on a factory and we get some more XP. Hard seems to be... I think that might be pushing it a bit. Let's go for regular. That seems okay. What's that there? Essence of grass. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why, who would look and think, do you know what this drink needs? It needs a grass flavour. Uh, let's go for regular. Earn four and a half grand. Gain three and a half thousand fans. 
Okay, we can do that. Sounds good to me. In fact, sounds way too easy. Hope you have enough money to pay me back when you inevitably lose. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So now we're under challenge conditions, are we? So now I can't just sort of dither about. We've got to actually get stuff going. Bother. Okay, I'm very good at dithering about. I'm not very good at having a kind of a focus. Okay, it's all fine. It's all fine. Right, so oh, we can see us versus the Sandwiz. Oh, the Sandwiz, oh, the Sandwiz is making loads of progress already. We've not done anything. Hang on. Mark is. So what have we got? 1,678 monies. Let's go and do, let's do some free samples for the seniors because they'll quite like that. So we'll pick up some stuff there and let's go and do some TV advertising with the middle-aged folks. There we go. So a little bit of money going out on those, but that's okay. Right, so we've made, oh, hang on, our progress, we've made a bit of money and we're making more fans. Okay, that's good, but his is creeping up and ours has stopped. Why is that? Why, why is that stopped? Why have you stopped? <laughs> Don't do that. Right, hang on, do we need to give the robots a little drink? because they do need that. So, oh, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Jeff, come back, Jeff. Look at that, the loading bay is rammed. Right, charge Jeff up a bit, because we don't want the robots running out of power, because that would be bad. Um, Betty, let's give you a little drink as well. Very nice. Um, okay, the Sandwiz is doing better than us. Why, is our, why are our fans not going up? Why are we not increasing in fans? Have we finished that thing already? Did we do that thing already? Um... Possibly. Total fan 16,331. Hang on, so did we, have we made any more then? Uh, oh, it's gone up to 1,276. Okay, we're fine for fans. Okay, that's okay. Right, I've got 1,300 monies, but we do have an awful lot of things over here. We've got so many, oh, hang on, was that Rufus? Was that Rufus? Hang on a second, what's Rufus got for us? Let's go and have a look at our mole friend. Essence of lettuce. <laughs> It kind of goes with essence of grass, doesn't it? Have we not already got that? Have we not already got essence of lettuce? I, I mean, that sounds, to me, that sounds appalling, but okay. Um, we do need to get rid of some of these things. Can we get rid of some of this stuff? I mean, yeah, when we've got this challenge out of the way, I'd like to go and try and get some new flavours underway. That'd be quite fun. How about, hang on, what's good for the market? No, let's get this done first. Let's sort the challenge out. That's got to be our big thing. Right, here we go. So that's taken away some stuff. We've made some good money off that. That's very nice. However, there's a massive pile of things over there. We need to ship those quite soon, don't we? We need to ship those things. We need to we need to have bigger vans taking more things at once. How do we get more XP? I'm not entirely sure how we get more XP. Um, okay, do you know what we'll do? We'll do another thing over here. Let's do a leaflet handout to try and get some more young adults on our side. Let's go and do that, please. And if we could get, I mean, all these things are very good. I mean, lemongrass. Yeah, lemongrass is a profitable thing. Lemongrass and donut. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Hang on a minute. We've got lemongrass. We've got so much lemongrass and we've got donut. Could we do that? Could we do a lemongrass and donut drink rather than doing this one here? Hang on a second. So and what's that making? 491. That's making 380, the lettuce brie. That's making 540. Okay, so if we go to here and say, okay, pause that, please. Do a new thing. So it's going to be lemongrass and donut. Donut, grass, lemon. That'll, that'll do. And we'll make that blue for no apparent reason. We'll have the tall things. Right, and then, hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not those, not those. Get rid of those. We don't want it to have those in. Thank you. Um, so, donut, grass, lemon. We want that to have, oh, hang on, pick up the strawberry, pick up the lettuce. So we want that to have donut. Do we have any in storage? Uh, we've got, we should have plenty of, where's the lemongrass? Do we not, are we using the lemongrass for something else? Um, we've already got donut grass. Hang on, hang on. Is that not what we're making over here? Donut grass, lemon. Why have we called it that? Hang on, lemongrass, hang on. We've already got one. <laughs> We're already making that. Okay, hang on a minute. Are there any other flavors? I kind of forgot about that one. Okay, right, that slowed down our progress a little bit. Uh, what else is there? That's the shop. We want the markets. Um, okay, yeah, lemongrass and donut, we're already doing. So let's let's not do that again, shall we? Eh? Um, okay, pecan, bacon, basil. Pecan, bacon, basil. Can we buy those from the shop? Please say we can. Pecan, bacon, basil. Um, no. None of those. Cashews, I think, are quite popular. 
Aren't cashews popular right now? Hang on a second, go to market. Um, cashews, did I see those? No one made that up possibly. Maybe they were on here or something. Why would I make that up in my head? What's going on there? Maybe I saw pecans and thought cashews. I mean, I don't know. Um, okay, right. So I think what we're going to have to do is go back to the machine that we switched off. Because that always... Oh, hang on a minute. He sabotaged, he sabotaged all that stuff whilst we weren't looking. <laughs> you clever sausage. Right, okay, that's fine. We'll go and repair all the stuff. Oh, he's literally smashed everything. <laughs> he smashed all the things. No, no, no. Jeff, away with you. Just let me repair the machine. There we go. Right, so repair, repair. We'll repair these, although they're, we're not using those, but that's fine. We get XP for those. So that might help in the long run. Right, and then over here. Anything broken out here? No, everything out here looks wonderful. Okay, that's good. Um, right, okay, so he's sort of resorting to more nefarious tactics. Um, yeah, this thing here, we don't need to call it donut grass lemon. That was that was terrible. Don't do that. Um, what is going to make us some good money? What's going to make us good money? Uh, strawberry and donut. I mean, lemon and avocado seems to be good. Mustard and lemon. That is a good one. Four ninety one for that. Why don't we go back for that? Mustard and lemon, please. Let's load that in, shall we? The only thing is it's in a regular container, which is a bit of a shame. But, hang on, Bernard should come along and drop these things off. That's very good. Hang on, also give Bernard a drink. So has he put, yeah, mustard and lemon's gone back in, which is wonderful. Okay, right, so now we're making mustard lemon. We're making mustard lemon there. <laughs> this is why I should never be allowed to be in charge of anything. It just turns into a complete shambles. Okay. Let's change the mustard lemon. Right, hang on. We'll, we'll wait for this drink to finish. <laughs> ah, dearie me. Okay, it's all fine. It's fine. We, this is all good. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the master plan. Hang on a minute. We've got mustard lemon and we've got... Hang on, I'm going to go and check what the other one is. We've got mustard lemon underway and we've got donut and lemongrass. Okay, so how about over here then? We go to this and we load... Um, we could do lettuce breeze, uh, lettuce and strawberry. We've got those in stock right now, and that might help us make a good pile of stuff. So yeah, we'll have that, please. So clear that. Hang on, I can't clear that. Uh, clear that. Clear, clear that and clear that. Okay, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, Bernard can come down here and start stocking up on things. And we shall chuck some stuff back into the big box in the garden. So yeah, we'll have that and that into there, please. Yeah, you know, we'll put the ginseng into there as well. Okay, right. So are we growing... Are we growing lettuce and strawberry? Is that a thing that we are growing out here in the garden? Um, lettuce and strawberry. Yes, we are. Okay, I suspect maybe. Did we take the lettuce and strawberry off this machine to replace it with another thing that would then... Uh, it, okay, that was a bit of a shambles, but never mind. <laughs> it's all fine. It's all fine. Um, I would like, if at all possible, to get another cupboard. Because that cupboard there is very full. I think the cupboards are quite costly. Hang on, let's have a look. Storage-wise, uh, we've only got a garden trunk. Oh, I to hang on a second. Yes, we have to go to the shop, don't we? I think we have to buy the blueprint for that. But also, do we maybe want to go and buy, say, some security stuff out of stock? Okay, all the security stuff is out of stock. Oh, that's, that's really good. That's really helpful. Yay. Um, okay, how about then... How about, um, yeah, what are we looking for again? A storage cupboard. 2,300 money for a storage cupboard. That's quite a lot of money. Okay, I wasn't kind of, wasn't expecting it to be that much, but we do need one because we've filled up on all our storage. Um, challenge wise, it's looking close in terms of money. So for all his bragging and his showing off, he's not really making that much more money than us. But in terms of fans, yeah, we've got that. We've got that sorted. That's absolutely fine. We just need to move more of these. We've got so much kind of product coming out now, we just can't ship it quick enough. So if we could move that quicker, that'd be wonderful. Um, yeah, we just need more of this. We just need more kind of XP. Just need more sort of, uh, yeah, research point type things. Can we go and do any cleaning? That gets us some XP sometimes. Uh, oh no, not use. Hang on. Can we do some cleaning? There we go. Look, we get two XP. Oh, there we go. <laughs> We're very much on the way to the next level then. Wonderful. Um, yeah, let's just, I don't know, check around. No, no more dirt to deal with. Maybe to get us over the line with the fans, maybe we'll go to markets 
and we'll appeal to the lowest, which is seniors. Okay, so let's give away some free samples. Let's do that, please. That's going to be quite good. So there we go. We'll get that done. And hopefully, yeah, that might get us over the line with our fan progress. And then it's just money. Then it's just earning money, which is okay. Um, okay, right. Are our things still intact? Yes, they are. Nothing's exploded. Nothing's on fire. Still a huge pile of things over there. Um, okay, I think we've just got to wait. I think we just have to kind of wait until we've got... I mean, ideally, I think, I think we're going to get to the next sort of research point before we earn four and a half thousand dollars. That's going to happen first, isn't it? So I think when that creeps up to the top, and it's creeping up all the time as we make soda and as we harvest things and everything else. So as our kind of operation is ticking on, we are gaining more research points. So as soon as we get that, we get bigger vans to take more things away at once, and then we can make more money from them. Um, and we got 800 and 31 new senior fans over the one hour that it ran. Okay, that's really good. Paid out for some water. That's okay. Right. Okay. I think we can just sort of sit and wait for a while then until we get a new research point. Oh dear. Right. Okay. We have a little bit of a problem. I mean, it is a self-inflicted problem. I've kind of caused this problem upon ourselves, but never mind. We can sort it out. So when I was looking at the brewers and changing all the things around, I didn't tell them to start work. I kind of set what we were going to make, but I didn't tell them to get on with it. So yeah, we need to actually make some soda, please, because these two brewers here have been doing nothing. In fact, is that still working? I think that one's still okay. Yeah, that's brewing, but we haven't been making any mustard lemon and we haven't been making any lettuce berry at all. We've just been sort of, you know, sitting there watching these machines doing nothing at all. So our kind of stockpile of things has come down a little bit, which is okay. But I mean, yeah, we could, we could have made a lot more money and we could have possibly got some more kind of research points as well. Because, yeah, when we do this, we kind of become masters of making that particular drink. And we get research points as time ticks on. There we go. We've got some XP for that kind of crate appearing. So, yeah, we might have just caused ourselves a little bit of bother there. But never mind. At least we noticed eventually. And it is all back up and running, which is very good. Yeah, I just sort of walked past and thought, oh, it says it's idle. Why is it idle? That's a bit weird. Ah. Okay, it's a problem of all of our own making, but there we go. So look, now we're picking things back up and we're chucking stuff back over here. That's all very good. We can do some cleaning up. That's not going to get us over the line, but it's going to put us nearer to the next kind of research point thing. Okay, right, another 2 XP coming in. Is there another 2 XP going to appear from that? I mean, really, thinking about it, what we could do is, hang on, we can clean that up as well. We could get ourselves another brewer because now we've got most of the process automated, we could just get another brewer set up, and that means we're going to make even more soda, make even more money, and then we're going to get even more research points. So I think maybe another brewing machine would not be a bad thing. I mean, where could we put it? Would we put it sort of underneath here, maybe? So get one here and one here, and eventually have six of them, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, in terms of our challenge, we've done the fan bit of the challenge, that's absolutely fine. Money-wise, it's still relatively close. It's still quite close. But I think we do have the edge, which is okay. Um, yeah, okay, right. This is all fine. And there we go. Research point immediately. Um, go down to here. And uh, there it is. Vehicle capacity. So at the moment, they can take five crates. We're going to increase that to seven crates. There you go. You can take another couple of, uh, couple of cases of soda each time, which is going to make us money a little bit quicker. So that's all loaded into there, look. So we can put many things into the loading dock. Um, how long is it until somebody turns up? Uh, oh, they're on their way. They're on their way. This is very good. We have many, many, many things in the shipping bay. But we're about to have seven things less, which is good. Hello, how are you? It says prisoners on it. And we just made 206 money off that. We paid 109 in water, but that's okay. 206 money. So that's looking really good. Okay, we've got two and a half grand. That's very good as well. And we're sort of eking out a little bit of a lead in terms of money over the sandwiches. It's not huge. It's not a massive lead, but it's, you know, it's okay. It's a little tiny bit of advantage. Um, can we go and invest in security? Has the shop refreshed yet? Can we go and do that? Hang on. When does the shop actually refresh? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Do you know what? We'll just scroll down until we get to security. Can we do any security stuff? No, it's all out of stock still. Botherations. Okay, never mind. Do you want to get anything else? A big trunk, a cube fridge. 
The cube fridge is a flavor, a flavor cube only inventory with 12 storage slots. It can be built inside the freezer. Ah, okay, so that's for flavor cubes. And we're not so bothered about the flavor cubes. It's the um, it's the other, the essence things that we need to kind of store away. Small cupboard, it can have 12, but that one can have 25 slots. It makes sense to build that, doesn't it? Rather than build a little cupboard each time. I'd like to build a big storage cupboard. Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the storage cupboard. I am Penge and I'm in a cupboard. Maybe we should get one of those. I think we invest. I think we save a pound money. I mean, 2,300. We could afford it. We could afford it, but it's cutting it a little bit fine right now. And then, of course, that's the blueprint. Then we have to actually buy the thing as well. So, right, we'll wait for a while. We'll wait for a while. Maybe when we've got three grand, we'll go and do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Progress has stopped because Jeff has, has run out of energy. Sorry, Jeff. Have a little drink. Hang on. The watering can is now empty. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Betty's okay. I thought maybe Betty had run out as well, but no, it's okay. Right. Fill up the watering can. We do seem to have... Some, hang on, we've got some lettuce and some strawberry upon our person. We don't need that. We have got quite a lot of lettuce and strawberry. <laughs> we have an awful lot of lettuce and strawberry. Um, okay, that's all good. That's all good. Right, so the money is coming in. XP is ticking up. We're shipping more things each time, which is very nice. And yeah, we are creeping ahead of the sandwiches. Oh, look at that in the shop. There is some MSG. Uncle Roger will be very happy indeed. He does love some MSG. Do you know what? We've got seven minutes. I'm going to buy it. We're going to buy some MSG. There we go. We bought some MSG. Don't know what it does. Plus 12% value if it's got a weird flavor. And we didn't get to see what the negative thing was. But never mind, because we've bought some anyway. Um, have we got lovely essences of things? That, ah, hang on. Cashew. Hang on. Where's where's the markets again? Um, no, it's not cashew. Why do I keep thinking cashews? Maybe cashews were popular ones. Um, yeah, bacon, pecan, basil, toast. Have we got bacon, pecan, basil, toast? Is that a thing we can buy from the shop? Because that would be quite nice. Um, bacon, pecan, basil, toast. No, none of it. None of that at all. Wonderful. I'm glad we've got such a good range of things. Got caffeine, taurine, and sucralose. Okay, don't quite know what that is, but okie doke. Um... Right, okay, let's go back and check. Oh, look at that. We are absolutely miles ahead. We're so far ahead of the sandwiches. It is a bit ridiculous. Okay, let's go to here. Pick up our wonderful new thing. We've got some MSG. Oh, it is wonderful. I have got some MSG in the kitchen and it does make a difference. It's very good, but there we go. So, okay, so we've got some MSG and I think we need to sell you know, a couple more couple more van loads of soda and then we'll be sorted. It's building up. It's absolutely piling up. Now we've got a whole automation thing going. We can just sort of swan about the place. I'm telling the warden. What are you telling the warden? How did you get in? Hang on. We're going to stop you. Stop. Stop. I, I, why do we keep hitting you? Hang on. Oh, had he broken in? <gasps> did he just get arrested? Was he trying to sabotage our things? And then we saw him and went, Oi, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, he got in over here somewhere. He teleported in somewhere around here. Have we got a bit of a security breach down there? I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, at least we stopped him. So we're kind of about to boop him on the nose a little bit. I don't really like going around and hitting people, but he was trying to sabotage our operation because, yeah, we're very close to victory. We're very close. Oh, hang on. Jeff's looking a bit, a bit thirsty. There you go, Jeff. Have a drink. How are the others doing? How are you doing? Uh, Bernard's all right, actually. Bernard is okay. And Betty, I imagine, is looking pretty good for water. How are you looking? 65%. You know, we'll top you up anyway, because we're nice like that. Here, I think one more shipment now. So hang on. Look at that. Jeff looking very busy. When is the next shipment? In seven seconds time. Okay, yeah, the whole shipping bay is full. The shipping bay is completely full. So Jeff is going to have to wait a little while. That's going to come in. And there we go. We've changed the sandwiches. And we've beaten the sandwiches. Okay, he's not going to like that. He's not going to like that at all. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to admit it fully, but you won fair and square. Oh, okay. My bread was soggy, my ingredients were limp, and my work ethic was sporadic. There is no excuse. My father, granddad, and great granddad would have been disappointed. It's okay, fella. It's just a silly competition about making lunch items. It's fine. Don't feel like you've upset your ancestors or whatever. Um... I'm disappointed. Get, get, come here, come here. Let's hug it out. Let's hug it out, Sam Wiz. I'm willing to be your friend. I mean, you broke into our place. We did have to kind of have a little bit of hitting going on. But I'm prepared to overlook 
our troubles and our past woes if we could just be, you know, become friends and we'll have a lovely hug and it'll be fine. Don't be disappointed. That soda, uh, that soda stuff you make is still rubbish. However, you did well. Congrats. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Some of it does sound pretty weird. I'll give you that. I guess you own my warehouse now. I'll stick around and help you run it. What? Wait, what? I'll get rid of my machines. They aren't very good anyway. Maybe next season I can give it another go. Hang on, do we have to make sandwiches now? Because I'm not entirely sure I can cope with making soda and sandwiches. Come drop in and check out your new setup when you get a chance. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. <laughs> this this has changed things. This has changed things a great deal, and I'm not sure I want change. I was quite happy with soda. Um, okay, check and reply to your mail. Hang on, we'll go and do that first. Please don't tell me I have to go and do sandwiches. I can just about cope with soda. I've only got three machines, and earlier on I completely messed up what the three machines were doing. <laughs> what am I going to do if we have to deal with uh, if we have to deal with sandwiches as well? Also, are we growing lemongrass? Oh, we are growing lemongrass. I just kind of saw down in here, this corner here, that that's looking a little bit low. A little bit low of lemongrass on there, but that's okay. Right, here we go. Uh, male. So, Sunny. Uh, nice job beating that punk. I never liked him too much, but he was a good customer. I've added some basic security blueprints to the shop if you want to check them out sometime. Yeah, we did look and they were all kind of sold out. Uh, installing some is a great way to catch any rivals trying to intrude in your warehouse. The higher in the competition you get, the more ruthless they will be in their sabotage attempts. So be prepared. Getting caught in rival warehouses will also increase the chance that they enact revenge on you. So be sneaky. Okay, Sonny, I can give you a discount if you reply with the magic word. Okay, so the magic word is please thank Sonny. Yeah, okay, we'll go for that because please is always the magic word, isn't it? Is that going to be good enough? Done. All the security blueprints in your shop are at a cheaper price than what the other competitors are paying. None of them said the magic word. Some people these days. Sonny, okay, I kind of feel like the game is forcing a hand a little bit to make us install some security stuff. Okay, do you know what? Uh, visit the Sandwiz in your new warehouse and put him to work. Ah, the Sandwiz works for us. Okay, right, I can, that changes things a little bit. So I can keep concentrating on this, hopefully, soda, and he can keep doing that. Um, okay, so a tier one security camera is gonna cost us one and a half grand, but I kind of feel like we need to get one in. So it's for the blueprint. So, okay, we'll buy the blueprint. Okay, game. <laughs> I wouldn't mind buying a big cupboard, but fine. We'll buy a security camera first. Okay, so go to here. Pick that up. Uh, oh, we've got our tier one pressure pad. Hang on a second. Hang on. Uh, we've got bottle. Unlocks bottles. Hang on. Essence of Stardust can go in there for now. The wrench can go in there. Let's bring all these things in here, look. Put all these things into here so we can use them all. Right, hang on a second. So, we're going to learn how to put a pressure pad. Yay. Okay, right, that's good. We're going to learn how to unlock bottles. Bottle is now available to be used in brewers. Oh, it's a different type of container. Okay, right, that's fine. And whatever that was, security camera. Okay, basic static camera is now unlocked. Okay, right, that's all good. And now, yeah, we have to go and visit the Sandwiz in our new warehouse. Okay, so now this is, oh, oh, hang on. What's going on? Lockdown? Oh no, not again. <laughs> okay, what's happened here? What's happened? We're, we're going into lockdown. I don't like it. I just wanna go and brew soda. Oh, okay. I suppose you're wondering what's going on. I am a little bit, I am a little bit. Is that our prison cell? I would like to go back to my soda place. It's much nicer. Um, let's just say there was a, a security incident involving the sand whiz. It appears that he has somehow managed to escape the compound. Oh no. Don't say I've got to run two places. Please don't tell me. All contestants have been placed into mandatory lockdown while our security teams find him. Until then, you stay in here. Okay. Well, this is going to be a bit weird. So we're just kind of hanging around in prison. Okay. Um, okay, it seems that we can't find him. The investigation is continuing, and I'm confident that he'll be caught in the next few hours. Based on what? However, the show's producers have decided that the show must go on, therefore you are free to return to your warehouse. Be aware though, security is currently on high alert, so no funny business. I'm not going to go and break into their places, unless the game tells us to. I am okay without that. We're going to not be naughty and nefarious. We did it once because the game made us, but other than that, we're okay. Oh, hang on, check our mail. Is it from the Sandwiz? Uh, oh, it's Dr. Soda. Now that you own the Sandwich's warehouse, I know you are eager to expand your operations. 
my recommendation is to take it easy and make sure you don't overspend or expand too quickly if you aren't all re if you aren't ready. Anyway, you will probably get tired feet running between your warehouses now that you own more than one of them. If you view the compound map on the whiteboard, you can easily plan ahead for any quick travel you might be looking at doing. The compound map also shows a great overview of your warehouse activities. It's very good for monitoring your operations. Okay, so we have to go and look at the whiteboard. It's over here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, there. Okay, so view the map. Uh, right, so there's our office. So there's our office. There's outside. There's the freezer. That's where we are. And that is the Sandwiz's place. Okay, warehouse overview. There is nothing in it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so fast travel. Okay, so now we're over here. Uh, okay, right. And there's, hang on, who's that? Master, we've got research, but hang on, that's very important. Can we go back to tech? Can we, can we do any more of this? Can we get vehicle capacity up a little bit more, up to 10, so we can ship even more things? That'd be really good. Or, hang on, increases the amount of shipping vehicles from one to two. Available when shipping bay capacity is at tier one, which I think that is. So does that send two vans? Or do we make the vehicles bigger? Let's make the vehicles bigger, look. There we go. That's what we're doing. Um, right. Hello. Who are you? Hi, person who's there. Dante. Hi there. I'm from the Prisoners film crew. Yeah, I got that on account of the hat and the camera. I am looking for some B-roll footage. I would love to follow you around and film as you do your thing. I'll stay out of your way. I promise. Now, show me what you've got. Uh, <laughs> really? We're not going to do too much. Oh, one sec. I need to change my battery. Okay, so show them around the new warehouse. Uh, I mean, okay, right. It's all kind of different to our previous one. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. We need to go and fix this thing because it seems to be a little bit on fire. Hang on a minute. So go and fix the thing. There you go. Look, record this. Look, I'm, I'm fixing things with a wrench. Hit it, hit. There we go. All fixed. Um, computer used in new warehouse. Okay, we can do that. There's sandwiches. Okay, so we'll do that. Hooray, we've used the computer. That was wonderful. Brewers built. It wants us to build four new brewers and put six new plots. Oh, ah, right, okay. Right, I am relieved. I kind of thought that we'd have to make sandwiches, but no, we've got his warehouse, but we're still making soda. We don't have to you know, branch out into sandwich making or whatever. Oh my goodness me, that is much better. I'm very happy with that. Um, okay, there's a bit of storage. Got lettuce and essence of barbecue. Okay. And we've got four garden plots over there. His garden is much, much bigger than mine was. I feel a bit like we were hard done by there. Uh, we need to build six new garden plots. Do you know what? We'll get that done now. Uh, well, can we, hang on, can we edit that one? Can we just move them into a different place? Uh, oh no, that's, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to move that one. Uh, hang on. Yeah, move. Just move it up to there like that, because that's in a silly place. So we might as well put it there like that. And then get another garden plot. Get a garden plot. They do get progressively more expensive, unfortunately. So there's four of them. We'll put another two in as well. Why not? There we go. Just drop some in like that. And we'd sell loads of soda from the new warehouse and also get four new brewers. Really? But then if we get four new brewers, we're going to need to get loads. I never saw that coming. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> or is that the surprise? If we get four new brewers, we're going to need a garden bot and we're going to need other bits and bobs as well. Right. This is quite a big, it's quite a big job over here then. This is quite a big thing. Also, we need the sprinklers as well. Um, oh, the sprinklers are really expensive. Oh my goodness. Right, hang on. We'll put a garden bot over there and... Okay, hang on. We'll, we'll give you some water, Garden Bot, because we like you looking happy. Right, and then manage. So you can plant and harvest all of these. You can manage all of these because the garden is fairly straightforward. It's not complicated as the garden. It's not like you have to do stuff constantly all the time. So you can manage those. So at least that's something. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We need to tell you to drop the things off into a box. Store things in that box, please. That would be wonderful. Um, and then we need to get, yeah, we need loads more money. 
We need loads more money because we need to get the other thing set up as well. Hang on, we can go back over here. Fast travel back to our other place. Yay, there we go. Uh, right, hopefully camera crew. Oh, okay. He's over there. He he's followed us over here. I didn't really want him to, but okay. Um, I'm a bit concerned for Jeff. Yeah, there we go. I thought Jeff might have run out of water. Jeff does run out of power quite quickly. Sorry, Jeff. Um, okay, we need to wait for money. We need to wait for money to come in. Let's have a quick check of the markets. It's still bacon, peak, and basil and toast. Can we please buy one of those things? Bacon, peak, and basil and toast. Um, pecan. We've got pecan. Okay, we can buy pecan finally. We'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much. Um, I haven't got anything else, but we do have... We've got pecan at least. So what could we make with that? We'll have to go and grow it. And maybe we could put it into the other side. Um, yeah, so pecan. I mean, look at that. That's huge. Could we do that with donut? Could we do that with donut? I kind of feel like we need another thing. And yeah, we'll work on different things on the other side. So I mean, what could we get? Have we got any of these? Moon rock, basil, toast. I mean, yeah, we need, need better things. How long until the shop refreshes? Two hours time. Botherations. Um... Okay, okay, never mind. We can't do much about that now. Let's go and pick up our thing. What does this do? Oh, I've, I've no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, okay, essence of pecan. We shall plant that. I love soda, says that man. Oi, did it work? I, I don't know. Okay, that's unexpected. Ooh, I never saw that coming. I, I don't think you should include that on your camera. <laughs> Don't, don't feature that. That's a terrible thing. Um, okay, over here, let's get Essence of Pecan growing because that could be quite good. So if we just plant that... Oh, hang on a minute. I didn't let it go long enough. There we go. So plant Essence of Pecan and we'll see what we can do with that. But yeah, now we have a whole new warehouse. Okay, that's quite interesting. So hang on, let's go and look here then. So yeah, it looks like we can see everybody else's. So there's us. That's our one. There's the Sandwiz's place. And then we've got... Whatever that is over there, there's is huge. That one over there is fairly small. And that one up here, that one in the corner is absolutely massive. Okay, that's very big as well. They're all drawing water from the river. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, so we know where we are. We did start quite small, I suppose. I mean, yeah, we, we just need to kind of wait for money to come in. We need to wait for money to come in. And we need the shop to refresh so we can get a really good combo of things and then we can start making things in the other factory. I mean, yeah, is the shop refreshed yet? Yeah, when was it? Oh, a few minutes. Okay, that's good. Hang on, remind me. Uh, bacon basil toast. Please have bacon. Please have bacon. That will be perfect. Right, so it's going to refresh. And please have bacon. Please have bacon. Or basil. Or toast. Have bacon. No, no bacon. Boo, game. Um, okay, maybe then maybe what we have to do is we might need to change the thing that's using donut so donut grass we might need to change possibly so i think we need to get some more we need to get some donut across the other side so we can have pecan and donut that would work i think that would be okay people would quite like that i'm not sure who would like that <laughs> it might be right actually pecan and donut might be okay that that might be an okay flavor um the only thing is we're using the donut for something else oh hang on Please tell me you've got bacon. Oh, mole friend, please tell me. Banana. Essence of banana. I mean, it begins with B. You kind of got the start letter right, but no, that's not bacony enough. Ah, botherations. Okay, never mind. Never mind. How long until the shop refreshes? I'm kind of just pinning our hopes on the fact that we might be able to go and get some, um, go and get some bacon. But uh, yeah, hang on. Where's the shop? Another four hours. Four hours until another chance at bacon. Do you know what? We'll wait. I think we'll wait four hours. And if there's no bacon, then then we'll have to try and make another plan. But uh, but yeah, okay, fine. We'll just sort of you know, hang around for four hours. We might go and do a spot of tidying up or whatever. Okay, we have a pecan flavor cube thingamajig, which is very good. So I think what we'll do is whilst we wait, let's go to here and we shall put that into the analyzer and we'll do the hand sort of analysis bit. I'm not very good at this. I'm pretty terrible at this, to be honest, but here we go. Right, so put that 
like that and then put that like that and then uh, already I'm doing this badly aren't I put that like that right so up to 16 so 18 points out of 1400 we need we could be here a good long time okay right so I'm just gonna go and work on this time can tick by until this is all kind of sorted because this might take a long long time indeed okay so we got there in the end it took a little while but pecan and spinach is apparently a very good flavor combination okay no, great. that's fine we'll be okay for now thank you um, oh hang on a minute Jess run out of water again there we go and um, we don't seem to have anything in storage why is that over here sort of thing in the loading dock is that because jeff ran out of water ages ago and everything is kind of just piling up yeah it looks like everything is still working okay right i think that let's go and grab the pecan cube back out of there so pecan and spinach is apparently a good thing okay so how about we come over here then to the sandwich place which is no longer going to make sandwiches and we'll go down here hang on where's that where's the loading dock and all that kind of stuff is that on this side yeah okay so how about we build a hang on that's a flavor analyzer where's where's just the machine that just does the building there we go the brewer okay so if we put that say just there so pop a brewer into the middle just there. That's all very good. Um, oh, hang on a minute. What's that? That's just a daily summary. Away with your daily summary. It's just too confusing right now. Um, and then I think we get the pecan and the spinach. Are we using the spinach for anything else? And why am I running between the two places when I could be using the magic teleporter? Hang on a second. Right. Oh, who has been, who has been sabotaging? Who has been sabotaging? Come on, own up somebody. Hang on, fix it, he fixed. There we go, is the other one working? Yeah, the other one's fine. Uh, right, let's get spinach out. So that's lettuce, we've got spinach. There it is, right, so get spinach. And we will have that over there. So hang on, we need to... Oh, hang on, have I got my... I haven't got the shovely thing. This is a bit of a faff. Right, shovel put there. Hang on, we need to carry the wrench around with us now, I kind of feel, because we're going to need to use that quite a bit, aren't we? Because we're going to get things sabotaged. So put the pecan into there for now. We've got... Uh, hang on, where's the where's the thing cube I just got? The spinach cube, and the essence, sorry, do that. And then we need to get the shovel. We need to dig up the pecan from here. So diggity dig, pick that up. Okay, that's good. Then we need to go back to the other side and we need to plant those. Okay, so hang on a second. Right, fast travel to the other bit. Here we go. And then, uh, I know, over here, look, we'll plant the pecan essence, which is good. And we'll plant the spinach essence. That was what it was, wasn't it? Pecan and spinach was a good mix. So there we go. And... To save bother over here, hang on a second, it's very, very expensive, but 1,160 money can go on a watering machine, which is helpful. Right now we do need to give it some water ourselves, that's okay, so a couple of splashes there, couple of splashes here, wonderful, okay, that's that done. Grab some water from the, th okay, we sort of fell in because the game glitched a bit there. <laughs> the game did sort of hang there for a second. We all saw that, right? Okay, good. Uh, okay, hang on a minute. Go back over here. I'm not sure I'm cut out to manage two places. I could just about manage one. Um, Garden Bot is very sad. Why are you so sad, Garden Bot? You're just not, do is it because you've got nothing to do? Is it because you have nothing to do at all? Soon you will have stuff to do. Don't you worry, Garden Bot. It'll be glorious. I need to give you a name as well. We'll do that maybe next time. There's plenty going on right now. And then over here, we need to make a new drink. And oh, what was it again? Pecan and spinach. Uh, Pecanage. Pe Pecanage. Yeah, okay. Do you know what? Let's make it brown for whatever reason. And let's put it in bottles. Let's have it in bottles because that's fancy. Um, okay. Yeah, I think if we get the flavor cubes in, we should be able to get that on the go. The brewer isn't getting enough water to operate effectively. Okay, why is that? Why is it not getting enough water? The water pump is... Oh, we haven't got a license. Oh, botherations. Okay, we need to shell out for a license. Um. Okay, I wasn't kind of... Oh, this is all very complicated. Right, hang on a minute, shop. A... Hang on, is there bacon? Is there bacon? Um, uh, no, there's not. There's no bacon. Boo game. Um, okay, miscellaneous. 
Um, another license for Brown's Pond. The other ones are too expensive. So we'll have to spend... We can't even afford it. Okay, right. Well, that's made our kind of decision there, hasn't it? We can't do anything over here right now uh, because, yeah, we can't get any water. The machines can't get any water and we can't afford the license. So, um, okay, that, that's fine. We'll pop back to our current place and we'll just manage kind of things over here. Found it. It's fast travel. Back over to our yeah, home sweet home. We know where everything is. It's all very lovely. Uh, we'll also do a spot of cleaning. There you go. Look, action. <laughs> look how he handles a mop. Okay, look, again, we're cleaning up. Oh, look at us. Dirt be gone. Um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll finish up for now. Because I think we have done quite a lot this time around. We've won our first kind of challenge thing. And we've picked up an entire new building. Which I am not prepared for. Because I can't even manage three machines. Let a whole, yeah, let alone a whole other building full of stuff. Um, but yeah, we need to make a lot of money off these. Because yeah, we've got to get ourselves another license to get water in the other factory. And yeah, we haven't really got that sorted right now. So I think... For now, we'll finish up, come back next time, try to get that license sorted, and just see if we can get that other one set up. So get the Samwiz's old place set up, try and get the four brewers in. We'll have to spend a bit of money on getting the robot set up on that side as well, and then see if we can actually sell 250 cases of soda from the new warehouse. So we'll have to see if we can do all that kind of stuff next time, but I mean, right now, the new warehouse is doing nothing because we haven't got a water license, which is a little bit of a shame. But there we go. Oh, hang on a minute, Jay. Oh, no, we're out of water. <laughs> we're out of water. Hang on. Right, don't fall in this time. There we go. Splendid. Right, hang on a minute. Let's give you a drink as well. Just pop some water. Oh, Betty was only on 17%. Crikey's. Um, yep, Jeff. There you go, Jeff. Lovely drink. And we'll give you a drink as well, Bernard, when you stop. There we go. Right. Okay, lovely. So with that done, yeah, we'll finish up for now, come back next time, and just see if we can get warehouse number two into a sort of a vaguely operating state with robots and automation and stuff being made and all that kind of stuff. We'll give it a very good go anyway. So yeah, we'll do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this, even though it is a little bit all over the place. <laughs> it's certainly taxing me in terms of trying to organise many things, and it's not even that many things, but I am a kind of, you know, a terrible disorganised mess. So hopefully you have enjoyed this little sort of shambolic part of our series if you have then please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up today with how we get on here next time out in soda story brewing tycoon but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time she's still heartbroken <laughs> she's still sick oh colleen you're this is not your day is it sean bozzini is going to defecate how's the lounge looking <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> Is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.